going on everybody c4 here welcome back to the channel we are here back live flashback pinks episode 11 we got a dolphins mock draft coming later tonight content fill bore hopefully i'm keeping you somewhat entertained during this virus outbreak we're here we got a big four weeks um i thought we we're actually gonna play the colts at the end but i forgot that we're actually counting the bye week as like an actual so it's really only three games this week it's gonna be a shortened week because of how we did the uh is it actually? No, that sounds stupid. No, that sounds... You know what? That honestly, that sounds pretty stupid. So we're, we'll play all four games. So we got the Jets, Chargers, Steelers, and the Colts. We play two games. We send two games. We are 100% playing that Week 10 game against the Colts to try to get revenge in the Manning Bowl. And I feel outside of that, um, probably Pittsburgh. We'll probably, probably sim these first two games against the Jets and Chargers. We'll play the Steelers. We'll get that bye week. Get everyone rested up, fully healthy for that massive Week 10 game against the Colts so uh where are we at so we've been winning and losing players traded them left right and center uh if, as far as now where we're at any new additions since the uh, the last couple big episodes uh not really you know we lost uh <laughs> Andre Dyson who was an 85 superstar dev corner that is very painful we fluctuated a couple of linebackers here and there. Ultimately, if you missed the last episode, we're no really further ahead. We actually probably are worse than where we were because we got absolutely railroaded by the Colts the first time we matched up against them. They got a five-star performance against us. Maybe the first five-star performance against us in the history of Pink Slips, regardless of what generation of Madden we are playing. So that is why that Week 10 game is such a revenge game, such uh, we absolutely want to come back. Now, actually... I'm going to see what this breakout is. If this breakout is very realistic, I might actually just play this week six so we have a chance of getting a dev trait there. And it is for Willie Parker. And I definitely would love Willie Parker to get a dev trait because right now he's sitting at a star and he would have a chance to get superstar. Three touchdowns or 150 total yards from scrimmage. Definitely doable. <sighs> I actually think that is worth us playing this game here against a 2-2 two two Jets versus a week eight game against the Steelers, which we have no idea. If there's going to be any dev traits or anything in between. So actually, we're going to hop in. And we're going to start things off here at the Oil Rig Stadium at home against a 2-2 two two Jets team who getting a quick preview at their roster. What do they got here? They got Curtis Martin, John Abraham, and Chad Pennington as their superstar X-Factors. Kevin Mawai, Lavernius Coles, and Sean Ellis. So they have some big they have some big time players. Okay, I'm not so sure I agree with Chad Pennington being an X-Factor, but, you know... He's accurate. He was a really accurate passer. So, let's hop into this game. Let's try to get Willie Parker, superstar dev. Let's also try to get a big-time dub against the Jets. Okay, great start. Already know I can't just play this game to try to get Willie Parker a dev trade. Because there's bigger things at hand, like actually winning the game first and foremost. Can't just try to do whatever we can to force the ball on Willie Parker. Or you're going to have turnovers like that and dumb plays like that. Okay, great start. Lavernius Cole slants cheese. They have no self-respect on how they score points. Oh, okay. Jason Witt, that, that actually works out fairly well. Jason Witt, unfortunately, unable to get that caboose of his into the end zone. But we're on the one-yard line. Perfect scenario for a pretty exhausted-looking Willie Parker to try and get a tutty here, which he does two more, and that's a dev trait boost oh sorry for the suicide pass Eli Manning owes Andre Johnson a new Rolex for that one trying to get his head taken off not great for our best player on offense all right we got a third and 13 here they have pretty much have to get a touchdown well, unless they're gonna go for it fourth down and they throw it across the all right that's embarrassing. Third and goal on the four. No opportunity for Willie Parker. No matter. We need to get it equalized here. Anquan Bolden. They slanted us on their first touchdown. That is just payback. Anquan Bolden. Nice touchdown. And the Oilers regain the lead. Third and inches. Come on. Come on, Andre. Oh, or Jabbar Gaffney. So used to that beat Andre Johnson at the top of the screen. Gaffney comes in, solid receiver, big time catch, moves the chains. 
Oh, and we did it to him. Willie Parker on the linebacker. The least likely guy to get targeted. Gets his second touchdown of the game. One away from a superstar dev trade as the Oilers regain the lead. That's a great ball from Eli Manning. Lofted over the linebacker there. 56. Didn't stand a chance. All right, we're in the red zone here. Chad Pennington, just a superstar. Hopefully that sack takes him out. Rocky Voyman. Big time sack coming off the edge of the linebacker. They weren't expecting that. If it's not James Harrison, if it's not Albert Hainsworth, it is unexpected. Second and goal. Pennington has been very accurate. In and out of this X-Factor all game long. But oh, that's not a great pass. So just a check down. He does a lot of check downs as well. I mean, that is just the Madden Sim and where it's at. Third and goal. A big time stop here would be huge. Holding into a field goal attempt to regain our lead. Maintain our lead. Wait, uh, Harrison off the edge. This is not good. Someone make a tackle. Yes, it's on the one. That is going to be a field goal attempt. Unless they're going to go for it. They're going for it. Oh, my God. Come on. This would be massive. Come on. Get in there. Oh, my. That was a linebacker. Our linebacker that we decided to pick. That was his responsibility. I think Kenny was like our starting tight end too when we first relocated the Titans to the Oilers. God damn it. Oh, you cannot eat a sack there. John Abraham. Third and 21. We're now out of field goal range. We need a completion here. I'm not confident but it's our defense going to stop. Jason went in the middle of the field. Probably going to be our best option here. We throw it up. Oh, it's a contested catch. And with that, he is in field goal range. I don't know why the linebacker just didn't jump there, but it's a 54 yarder Seabass. He makes these in his sleep. That should be good. Tie this game up at 27 apiece. All eyes on our defense. Oh. Okay, this is awesome. That was awesome. Oh, great job, D. Come on, big out. Back out, get there. Nice sack. We needed that. Raheem Brock finally does something. Get a lot more snaps here. This is going to be a big time stand. 30 13. We're going to have to burn our last time out if we can get a stop. We'll go cover two man. Literally anything. Like, uh, even a touchdown. It can't be a first down. There we go. Good stop there. We're going to have, what, 40 seconds, 30 some seconds to try and. Try and get in field goal range. Do not want to be... Did not look at the schedule, see the Jets, and think anything other than that's going to be a dub. So, we're going to need Andre. None of our guys have got open deep right now. Andre Johnson has not been beating his man. Anquan Bolden not been beating his man deep. We need one of those guys to spring a leak here. It's over. I mean, we'll get one more chance, but it's just the, the fact that the deep ball hasn't been there all game. It's full credit to the Jets. They have they have not given us anything deep. Yeah, it's over. Better team. They were the better team. And our, 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 our receivers couldn't get open. And they're not that good of a second. It's just we're not going to talk about all Madden. But it's, it's just one of those games where an inferior secondary shut down our players all game long. And it is what it is. And we got to take this out. Oh, look at the scoring here. The Jets won the game, which is one star. They won the plus minus, which is a half star. Looking at their player performances, uh, Chad Pennington went for three touchdowns, which is a half star. Uh, Curtis Martin ran for over 100 yards, which is a half star. And then on the defensive side, they got three sacks for Abraham, which is a half star performance. And an interception from Donnie Abraham, hopefully some relation, uh, which is also the half star. Gives them three and a half. You round down. It is a three star performance here for the Jets which means they get a plus six opportunity to steal away one of our players. And to just add it on, didn't get anything for Willie Parker. So look at the trades. This is what we're about to do. They're going to flip uh, Marcus Floyd, 69 normal, and D-tackle William Joseph, 75 or 72 normal. Not a horrible player. Uh, they're going to get Drayton Florence, who's a 71 at normal. And they are going to get the big acquisition is Darnell Dockett, who is a 76 Superstar defensive tackle. Gotta stop losing these fucking bullshit games, man. It's costing our team. 
So next up, it's our sim game. First up against the Chargers. So they got familiar faces, X-Factors, LT. They got Junior Seau, Drew Brees, Rodney Harrison, and Curtis Conway as their superstars. We need a big win. For the love of God, Sim, help us out. Okay, what's my confidence? Not very high. And we are... I mean, it's one of those things. I, I, I suppose... That if you watched these videos and you said, this draft's OP. Like, we got all those hidden devs. Like, we got Darnell Dockett, superstar. Drafted him uh, midday, right? Like, you, if you think for one second that our drafts are overpowered at all, look at all the dev trades again in the draft. This is why. Because we're going to go through spells where we lose three, four games. And all those young players that we can't captain are going to get poached. Like, look at this. We cannot amount any offense. This is going to be a disgusting loss. I don't know. I'm personally feeling with these losses. I might have to implement that if we lose, I'm, I'm going to do, I'm going to calculate here, but if, I'm going to say if we lose from a sim game, we can't have a five star spin the wheel that we can have. We can lose by five stars. They can get a plus 10 upgrade, but I feel like when I'm not controlling the games, I shouldn't be exposing my team to, you know, Getting the additional, we just got smoked. I, I think I'm going to implement it. I'm not even going to do the score right now. Because when we lost to the Colts last time, and they did get a five-star, and they did get the speed. That was us playing. That was us getting smoked. So I am right now at this point enacting a new rule to the series, which is if we lose by five stars, which this might be it, might not. But if we lose by five stars, uh, the other team does not get to spin the wheel if it is a sim game. But this is going to be pretty bad. It's going to be at least a four-star loss. Oh boy. So, calculating this loss, the Chargers won, and they won by 14 plus. So, luckily, we were one point away from saving off the star here, but they get one and a half star from the win alone. They won the plus minus down here at the turnovers, which is a half star. Looking at their player stats, uh, they got 100 yards and two touchdowns for LT, which is one star for that alone. Uh, on the defensive side, they got a half star for Junior Seau, getting two plus interceptions or two plus sacks. And they get a half star from Quentin Jammer getting an interception, which gives them a four star performance on the day, which is a plus eight opportunity. <sighs> so, uh, we get a superstar. <laughs> We're giving a superstar. We're getting rid of a superstar. They are flipping Curtis Conway using all eight of their victory points to flip an aging superstar for one of the better young superstar wide receivers in the National Football League. Uh... We got the Pittsburgh Steelers for our second sim game of the episode. They got Porter and Bettis as their superstar X Factors. Heinz Ward, Casey Hampton, Gildan, and Namde Asamoa as their superstar dev players. We are an underdog. Can we get a win though? Please, can we at least add some players right now? Our team is getting murdered. But at this rate, at this rate, we're going to dip back below that 75 overall and be immune to losing players because this team just doesn't give a shit about winning football games. Okay, here we go against Pittsburgh. They're a pretty good team. We got a safety because that's the only way we can score points. I can't remember the last time I felt like we scored a touchdown in the sim, like back-to-back -back touchdowns. So this is looking rough. Uh, I'm th very close to taking the captaincy off Eli Manning. I feel like he's, you know, obviously we don't want to give up on a young quarterback like that, but he is just, he is not good in the sim. We are, we are not faring well here. We are struggling every single point this game has been a field goal. So, I mean, we're making a chance here. Come on. Look, again, we, we, we went for it there. This is just... It's not fun. It's not good. It's not good. There's a loss. Another loss. Tommy fucking Maddox from the XFL. Are you kidding me? Well, at least at face value, this one wasn't a brutal loss. Uh, the Steelers won the game, which is a star. They had Tommy Maddox go for three touchdowns, which is a half star. Heinz Ward caught all three of those touchdowns. Half star. And on the defensive side, James Ferrier had an interception, which is also a half star. It gives them a two and a half star performance on the game. You round down, which gives them a plus two star game, which is a plus four player upgrade. Okay, so... Um, they're gonna flip. We're gonna get back Drew Bennett, and we're gonna send them TJ Hushpanzada, so they're getting a better player. 
A same age and a better dev trade. And they're stealing away our franchise. Well, not franchise, but they're stealing away our starting tackle. They're flitting us Seth Wand, 74. And we're giving them a Maurice Williams. Uh, we got to stop losing, man. We have got to stop losing. This is going to be fun. They're just 7-1. and one, And they smoked us the last time. And somehow losing three games have given us three, uh, two dev trade scenarios here. First up, we got Raheem Brock, who... Uh, Less of 75 rushing yards, and I would say so far in this series, most overpowered running back we've gone up against is Edger and James on the Colts, so that's phenomenal. And then looking here, I don't know who that is. Uh, some player, some wide receiver that I don't recognize their face. Jabbar Gaffney looking to take a step up and fill in fill the shoes of Anquan Bolin and get him 150 yards rushing receiving. I'm sure that's definitely doable here as we get ready to take on the Colts in the Manning Bowl, a game that... I, <laughs> We can't lose all four in a single episode. Our team is gone from a 77 overall. We started down to a 76. Things are looking rough. We are going to need to look and rely on, you know, let's be honest. Wes Welkers of the world are going to need to come in and step up. Eli Manning needs to do something. He is not doing literally anything. Like, what are his stats right now? What are his stats? They are not good. 12 touchdowns to 8 picks. It's, it's, it's ugly. It's ugly out here. Look at the defense. We need guys like Harris. Guys like Kennedy, or Sp I have to put Spice Adams up here. Uh, Brock Lesnar, how about you do something in practice, bud? That moves the needle and gets this team over the hump. We are going to need a gargantuan effort for us to sneak a win away here. And it's like one of those things. I, I can't see any scenario that even if we do find a way to get one of the bigger upsets of the year, that this is going to be a, a meaningful win that we get a big upgrade on the Colts. It's going to be, if we win, it's a plus two, and it's going to be disappointing. So... You know, it's 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 more so if we beat the Colts, it's not about winning a guy because it's not going to be anything big. It's going to be, we're at least going to hopefully starve off losing another big-time player. Let's go Jason Witten across the middle. This is a revenge game, too. We bring up the narrative of how bad our teams play, but this is still Manning versus Manning. And the first time around, it was a bit of a shootout, but Peyton Manning easily had his best performance of the year against us. We do not want that to happen again. First and 10 of the 16. What do we got, Wes Welker? What do we got? Let's just throw it here to Ashley Lilly. Makes the grab. We're going to go no huddle. Even though that's probably not a advised, well-advised decision because all of our backups are in. But I don't give a hoot. We're going to keep them on their toes here. And we're going to fire it in. Wes Welker makes the diving catch. And it's dropped. Try to get second to go in the five. Let's go, Wes Walker. I'm gonna make, I'm gonna force the issue with Wes Walker to just make up for the fact that we don't have Anquan Bolden no more. All right, we're gonna go power back. We're gonna, they think we're gonna throw it. They think this game's all about Eli Manning trying to do too much, play hero ball. But in reality, we just want to win and we hammer it up in there with Chris Brown. Haven't seen a Chris Brown hammer a hammer something like that since he beat up Rihanna. Or if you listen to Paul Mooney from the Chappelle show, Rihanna whooped his ass and he just was a kind of long for the ride. Oh, and another first quarter. The Colts gain the lead. Touchdown, Marcus Pollard. Oh, Andre Johnson, the DB gambled for it. He went for the pick. You can't do that against Andre. You got to play safe or he's going to burn you 73 yards. Exactly the response this offense needed. Oh, let's go. Just a little bit of slants. I don't care. I'm desperate. We're swinging for the fences. Any play that we can get work. Zones, slants. I'm going to try to hit him, try to maximize him. That's a nice little touchdown there, Wes Welker. Come on, Andre. Oh, my God. Big boy ball on the outside. I don't think so. Just too, it's just too damn easy. Reggie Wayne. This, it's a shootout again. If every time we play, it's going to be a shootout. That's going to be good for the viewer. It's fun for me to play. But you can't just let him. That, that's Brian. That's an 88 superstar corner. That just got, oh, the angle is horrible. That's an obtuse angle right there. Come get some. Come on here. Come get eat this. Eat this. You don't want it. Oh, Wes Welker. Can we lead him enough? Oh, that's P.I. Ball placed at the one, please. 
Let's go to this guy, Meyer, through the middle. That's not going to give us any stars, but the touchdown, we have to keep scoring. We just have to keep scoring because you know it's going to dry up and Payton's only going to get better in the second half. Keep piling it on. Keep piling it on. Actually, we need Willie Parker to sub out. Give me what's like a power run here. I need something that's like 100%. Oh, the strong toss. That's always the power back, right? Where'd it go? Give me that strong toss. Or maybe power O. Because Chris Brown already has one touchdown. We get him another one. That's a half star that we could add to our tally. And this is the only time he's going to be used. And he gets in. And there's a half star. As we now officially have dropped a 40 bomb on the 7-1. and one. Number one team in the NFL, Indianapolis Colts. Oh, let's go. That's great block. Hits the juke. Unvashered last man. The final line of defense gets destroyed. Willie Parker. Nice little tutty there. Oh, there's little to no defense being played today. And if we didn't... Uh, the fact that we have 49 points and this game is not over is frustrating to me. It is absolutely frustrating to me. That is a filthy spin move from Edger and James. Oh, my God. Cool. Cool. Light Freeney. Cool. Come on. Come on. He had to stop. They're, probably, they're definitely going to... Eh, they're, yeah, no, they're definitely in four-down territory. Boyman coming in there, getting a nice tackle. Third and goal on the fourth. Holding for our dear lives. They get a touchdown here. They have all the momentum. Not going to say anything else about it. I'm not going to say we're going to lose. Not going to say we're going to win. It's just going to spit facts here. And Edger and James walks in. No one even sniffs on him. He's COVID free. Oh, Wes Walker, come on. I need that second touchdown. Hey, there we go. Should be enough to seal the victory in what has got to be the best game of this regular season. And there you have it. Finally, some good. We've The one game I thought for sure we were going to lose. We, we dropped 50 points. Even though we no one could get open against a Jets team. Uh, our team showed up to play today. We showed up to play. I don't know if it's going to be a five-star. It should be pretty damn close. I love a spin at the wheel. That'd make up for three straight losses coming into this. And we avenged our earlier embarrassing five-star defeat to the Colts. 56 to 41. Looking like a college football Big 12 game. Eli Manning. You could, you could still have... Look at Peyton. 380 and 4. He got like 10 touchdowns against us in two games this year. But a huge game from Eli Manning. Over almost 400 yards, five touchdowns. We'll calculate our score and hope to God we get a five-star opportunity. So life is pretty damn good. Looking at the team. So we won the game. It was a divisional game. And we won by 14. So that is two and a half stars right off the rip. Looking at our individual player stats. Eli Manning with over 300 yards, over, <laughs> over three touchdowns for sure. That's one full star for him. We got a uh, half star for Willie Parker going over 100 yards. We have a half star for Chris Brown getting two rushing touchdowns. A full star for both Wes Welker and a full star for Andre Johnson for going over 100 yards and getting two receiving touchdowns. We had nothing on the defense, but I don't care. That is a six and a half star performance. Going to get a five star. So we have a plus 10, plus an opportunity to spin the wheel. Exact revenge for what the Colts did to us earlier in the season. So before we get to get the uh, the player from the Colts, we have to spin the wheel that we earned. So here are the options. As you can see on the wheel, we have the dev boost, which means any player can go up one dev trait from where they're currently at, plus 20 overall, which is an additional plus 10 to the plus 10 that we earned from stomping the Colts. Pink special, which is plus two throw power, plus two acceleration, plus two sprint speed to any player that we want. Uh, and then we have pick a team, which means we could have the option of flexing away that plus 10 from the Colts and look at getting any plus 10 upgrade across the NFL, which essentially means just optimizing our, our plus 10 opportunity and getting the best single player. So really the only option we don't want, I guess would be pink special because we got that the last time. So let's spin this wheel. For the love of God, don't be, don't be pink special. Give me something exciting, a plus 20, a dev boost. Pick a team, hey, that's, you know, that's not, that's not horrible. It's just going to take me a long time. We now, we can still use the Colts, but we could take now the best plus 10 opportunity across the landscape of the NFL to improve our roster. 
I want to make sure we, we take some time on it, we don't rush it, and we make sure we get the single best upgrade we possibly can. So we're going to end this one. I did all the work. I figured out all the potential upgrades. I figured this is now the best time for you guys to vote. This is like the biggest aspect that we lost from doing pink slips primarily as a live stream is getting your guys' uh, opinions on who we should pick. So I have gone through, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, six potential player upgrades and you guys in the comments get to pick. I will go 100%. I'm going to be looking through it because you guys can like comments and it pushes them up to the top. The most liked comment. And if you have, like, uh, you know, uh, a good reasoning why, if you need to, you know, convince me of why I should make that pick, uh, maybe the best, maybe not even the most like, maybe the best reasoning, also with a lot of support behind it, will get the trade. So here are the trades, starting from the back and working our way up. So at strong safety, we have Tank Williams. He's a 74 overall. And we could flip that to Troy Palomalu, who's an 84 overall, 23 Superstar X Factor. This is definitely a incredibly strong candidate to uh, land said voting. I think it's an exciting pick. We'd have to probably reshuffle our captaincies because he would most likely have to be a captain. But I'm a big fan of Troy Polamalu. I would not be against that one bit. Uh, we also have to look in the secondary two potential upgrade options here. We have um, uh, Terrence McGee, who's a 76 overall, and from that we can look at the Colts and keep it honest. And look at David Macklin, who's an 86 overall, but only a normal dev. The dev trait's not particularly there. But I figure because it's kind of keeping it honest to pink slips and not utilizing our wheel, maybe some traditionalists that want that. Another upgrade is we have Fernando Bryan here, who is a 88 superstar dev corner. And we can flip him to the New England Patriots for Ty Law, who is a 98 X-Factor corner. However, he is 30 years old, so that is definitely something to keep an eye on. Uh, a less sexy trade that still would definitely help this team is that offensive guard where we have Ryan Diem, who's a 75 overall guard. We could look to flip him to the New Orleans Saints for LaCharles Bentley, who's 24, just entering his prime, an 85 superstar offensive guard. Definitely will help out with that run game. Moving on, at wide receiver. A little bit of a minimal upgrade, but it adds speed. It's in the heart of pink slips. We have Ashley Lilly, who's a 74 overall, and we could take him, flip him, to the New York Jets and look at Lavernius Coles, who's an 84 superstar, bringing lots of speed, 94 speed, 94 acceleration, 85 catching. Is wide receiver that big of a need? Probably not, but it still is something that's on the table. And then the biggest one, one that could alter this franchise, we have Eli Manning, who is a 78 superstar quarterback, the man behind this whole thing even coming to fruition. 78 superstar dev, he's 23, we could flip him to the LA Chargers, San Diego, whatever you want to call it, for Drew Brees. 88 superstar. I don't know. I think it's coming down to, do you want Eli? Do you want me to continue to play with Eli? Or do we get someone like Drew Brees? Who I'm actually, I don't think I've ever really ever played with Drew Brees. Or I think you can look at Troy Polamalu or Ty Law. I think those are obviously the big three. I think it's really going to be down between Drew Brees and Troy Polamalu. Obviously, with Drew Brees, we're going to get a lot more action because I control him on almost all the snaps and the gameplay that you see. But, exciting-wise, you know, there's going to be people that want us to try and keep Eli Manning. You want me to keep suffering with Manning. You want to keep the Manning rivalry on the channel for as long as we can have it between the Colts and the Oilers. And then you bring in a beast like Troy Polamalu. So, there's no real bad answer here. So, let me know in the comment section below what trade you want to see happen from this spin-the-wheel option of picking a team. And I'm pretty sure that, you know, a couple of days from now, we will find out the results and we'll kick off the next episode, episode 12, I think, of Flashback Pinks with this monumental decision for our franchise. But hey, if we're going to get smoked in the first three games, lose a bunch of players, at least we have this opportunity. We're back up to a 77 overall, and now we get to bring an absolute game changer for our squad. So we've definitely lost general depth to the team. Our team is not going to be as well-rounded as it was before we got in these four games, but we're going to have as big and flashy of a player as you possibly could ask for. So let me know in the comment section below who you want. Drew Brees, Lavernius Coles, LaCharles Bentley, Ty Law, or Troy Palomalu, and we'll make it happen based upon your guys' response. But that is it for me today, guys. Thank you for watching. There will be a Miami Dolphins seven-round mock draft coming to you guys later tonight, so make sure you go check that out. It is an insane mock. This is like one of the best ones I've ever done. I mean, it's a mock draft. How you know, it's, that sounds so stupid even saying, but I think you guys will enjoy it. So that's, uh, that's your double upload for today. But as always, if you're first time stopping by, don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button. Smash the like button if you enjoyed. And until next time, it's C4 saying peace out.
Yeah. Money I'm spending, I'm out and I'm shopping You talking that shit, when you talking and talking Look at my options, look at me dropping Ass in the game, like who are you stopping? Not me, not me, not never Not me, not me, not never Not me, not me, not never